Good afternoon, folks. I'm Patrick Damore, PGA Professional here at Patrick Damore Golf Instruction. Today, folks, I'm going to teach you a drill on how to cover the golf ball. I've got about four drills I use constantly with my students who have problems covering the golf ball. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the word cover. What's it mean? What is it? Where to come from? It's probably been popular now for 15, almost 20 years. Basically, what I mean by covering the golf ball is this. At impact from the waist up, we're trying to get the upper body on top of the golf ball. Okay? Instead of letting the hips take off, upper body's leaning this way, our head's behind the golf ball, and we try to fix everything with the hands flipping at the bottom of the swing arc. Nowadays, we're trying to cover the golf ball. We're trying to get from the waist up to your head to travel this way through impact. Okay? That's different from. 30, 40 years ago, I was taught different. I'm 42 years old. I think the 35 and older crowd were taught completely different. We were taught, head behind the ball, fire the hips. Hips are taking off. Now the hands are coming into impact. As you can see, there's a lot of hand-eye coordination needed in that golf swing. A lot of it. So we're not doing that anymore. Long story short, we're trying to cover the golf ball. We're trying to get the waist from the waist up on top of the golf ball at impact and over to your front foot the forward foot, if you will, completely vertical, such that if I had to, I could pick up that back foot and not fall backwards. That means this body, from the waist up, my body has to go this way through impact. There's no other way around it. The head position travels this way through impact into the finish of the golf swing. There's no more of this keep your head behind the golf ball, finish high, reverse C finish. You know, we got the the bad back pain back here, we got our weight back here, we're trying to flip it at the bottom of the swing arm. There is no more of that. We're trying to cover the golf ball now, and today I'm going to show you one of my four drills that I use to teach, predominantly the good players do this. The good players have problems covering the ball. I teach all my good players this. My scratch golfers, my fellow PGA professionals, and, and whatnot. This drill is going to allow us to get the upper body going this way through impact. Now again, Drills do one thing, folks. They teach your body new muscle memory. So when you're out here in the driving range, do not expect good golf shots. In fact, expect bad golf shots. Expect crazy shots, hook slices, chunky shots, skull shots. It doesn't matter. All we're trying to do is do a new move, a new motion with the golf swing that allows you to make a better golf swing eventually. The result's not important, long story short. All we're trying to do is teach new muscle memory. And with drills, that's what they do. Don't get caught up in where the ball goes when you're out in the range, folks. Don't even worry about it. All we're trying to do is change your muscle memory through repetition. Now, today, I'm going to show you my uh, probably my most popular of the cover drills. See, I call it the ball position drill. As you can see, I got my hitting station set up. I got my parallel tracks towards the target. I got my ball position club. I got the golf ball at the end of the ball position club. That's my standard ball position. As you watch, that's about one golf ball left to center for a right-handed golfer towards the target. I think I'm using a 7-iron right now, all right? That's standard right there. I'm going to show you the correct impact position because this cover drill encourages better impact. And it's all about impact, folks. I don't care what anybody else tells you. The most important thing about golf, about the golf swing, is impact position, okay? Now, here's your setup position. Golf ball is one ball left to center for right-handed golfer. The weight's kind of 50-50 on both foot. All right. Now, impact. Correct impact position is different than this. Believe me, it is. Hips are open. The weight is predominantly on the front foot, maybe 60%. We got the forward shaft lean. Okay. Now, I want you to look at something very important here. Watch my shoulders. See where they're at? They're almost level to the ground, almost parallel to the ground. That's what we're looking for. Level shoulders at impact or as close to level as possible, instead of the yesteryear swing. Instead of hips firing, head behind the ball. Now look where my shoulders are, folks. They're up in the air. The right shoulder's down, the left shoulder's up. All this encourages is trying to fix it with the hands at the bottom of the swing arc. The slap, the flip, the spin, the whole nine yards. We want level shoulders at impact. Okay, again, address position. One ball left to center. Impact. Hips open, forward shaft lean, shoulders. That's just your impact position. That's what this drill is going to help teach. Right here, shoulders are level. All right? When you get level shoulders, 
our upper body travels to the target on the forward swing. You have to get out of your mind the old throwback ways of keeping the head behind the ball, firing the hips, and throwing the hands. That's, that's gone. That's way gone. We try to get upper body on top of the ball at impact, so we're striking down at the golf ball, we're compressing the ball, if you will, and following through to a nice vertical finish. That's what we're trying to do with this drill. We're trying to get you to that position at impact. We're trying to get you to that position at follow through. Now, again, the ball position drill. I got my normal golf ball down there at the end of the golf club. That's going to just reflect and show you where normal is, all right? My ball position drill, folks, I got one ball way out of position. From my angle right here, it's outside my left foot. That's how far out in front it is. Obviously, that's not right. That's not the correct ball position. But for this drill, it is, all right? Now, as you can see, I got one ball, which is correct, right here where it needs to be. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to try to strike this golf ball right here. I'm not going to change my setup, folks. Cannot change it. I'm going to try to strike it from this position, which means... Basically, if I try to keep my head behind the ball and the hips firing, trying to fix it all with my hands like we were taught 20, 30 years ago, I'm going to whiff. I'm not going to touch that golf ball because by the time that golf club gets to that ball, it's traveling up again. I'll whiff it or I'll top it along the ground. We have to get the upper body over here. As you can see, I'm way the hell over here now, completely on top of the golf ball. All right? That's what we do when we cover. Now. I'm going to hit one shot like this. I want you to watch a couple of things. Number one, I want you to watch my waist up. It's going this way through impact. Number two, when I finish the golf swing, I want you to watch how vertical I am when I finish. When I'm done covering the ball, I want you to watch exactly where my body is when I'm finishing. And three, I want you to watch my shoulders. If you have a video uh, software that slow motions this tip, I want you to slow motion the tip and watch my shoulders at impact. They are very level or very close to being level. Never like this okay this right here is a killer folks and it always will be we're trying to get the shoulders to behave level to the ground or parallel to the ground whatever word you want to use all the way over to the front foot where we're level once again the ball way out in front the only way to strike this ball reasonably well is to get the upper body over here on top of the ball at impact now that's going to take a lot of motion we have to make a conscious physical effort to go that way during the golf swing all right I'm going to try it once now, folks. Now, as you can see, that golf ball is way the heck out here. Again, I have to go way the hell over here to hit that golf ball. And that's what this drill is designed to do. It's to teach you to do that. All right, here we go. Expect the ball to go left if you do hit it. Expect it to hook. Again, results aren't important. All I'm trying to do is teach my body a new motion. Here we go. Now, again, I'm completely vertical on my front foot. No weight on that back foot. If I had to, I could pick up my back foot. My shoulders were here at impact and here at the follow through. That's what we call covering. This is a great drill to use. Now again, do not get discouraged by missing shots and sculling shots, because I promise you, I've got a lot of good golfers I teach this to, and for the first 20 minutes, they can't get the ball airborne. Some of them can't get it airborne the whole entire first lesson. But eventually they learn through repetition that in order to hit that golf ball, we got to get over here. And that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'll put the ball on the ground this time. The first time I hit it on a tee. Putting it on the ground is much harder. As you can see, it's way the hell out here. It's out of position. But I have to make a conscious effort to get over here. Okay? I've got to get over here to make contact with that golf ball. If I don't, I will whiff. It's that simple. It's a very good drill to teach you to get this way. Try to cover the golf ball. One more time now. Our normal setup, ball position is one ball left to center, as you can see. Remove that golf ball. Now I'm trying to strike this one. That is way out there. I've got to go out and find the golf ball, folks. I've got to come over here and cover the ball. Simple as that. Again, expect the ball to go left. Expect it to hook when you're done. If you do it right. Again. I'm over here, I've compressed the shot, I've trapped it, if you will, and my upper body is traveling this way through impact. The 
the ball position drill, ball position drill. It's a great drill. It's a great drill to cover the golf ball. Again, all we're trying to do is get their body going this way. Folks, if you have any more questions, contact me at my golf instruction site, www.patrickdamergolf.com, or uh, send me an email, patrick at patrickdamergolf.com. Thank you. Have a great day.